Hello people, how you doing? I just thought I'd give my take on this situation that's going on here in Burns, Oregon. You notice, uh, you do see my breath, perhaps. There's no green screen here. And it's uh, 20 degrees. I'm going to light my fire as I talk about this, but uh, what I see going on, folks, is uh, I don't know if any of you remember, but back in uh, September of this year, there was a man by the name of Thomas Deegan. And he was in a battle with uh, the Corporation of West Virginia, you see? I think you all ought to look into this little battle here because it's a little bit more important than this thing that's going on in Burns, Oregon. I think is what's going on, see, is that this corporation knows that shit's getting close. And when Thomas Deegan was trying to overthrow the government in West Virginia for their failure to address his regress through several attempts of legal documentation presented to the courts, the courts were out of honor. Mr. Deegan was totally in honor. That is where the militia should have showed up. They shouldn't have showed up over here in Burns, Oregon. I'm 200 miles from Burns, Oregon. I could be there if I wanted to within a few hours. I don't see a real need to be there. We'll see how shit plays out. But as far as what's going on, see, I think is what they've really done. Where was Pete Santelli and fucking uh, Blaine Cooper and all these other idiots who are getting this fucking ball rolling clear over here on the West Coast? Why in the fuck weren't they back east in West Virginia when Thomas Deacon was taking care of the business appropriately through the courts? The courts were in dishonor. Not Mr. Deegan, and yet Mr. Deegan's in jail right now, and you motherfuckers are down here in Oregon. What the fuck is your problem? Oregon is not where the problem lies. You have to go to the root of the problem. It's in D.C. Them motherfuckers, you think they don't see what's going on on this fucking mass media bullshit and all the fucking people who are beginning to unite against their bullshit? They don't want the fight over there because that's too close to a home. That's why they got it over here and they're going to start it over here. And I do believe that there's something about all them fucking idiots promoting everybody to go over there. I don't know what it is. Hell, I only believe in the benevolence of humanity. I don't care really what goes on other than the fact that all you fucking idiots out there need to take control of your own fucking life. You need to unite in the courts like I keep trying to fucking tell you. And Thomas Deegan was doing it and all you motherfuckers just fucking let him go to jail. Why? I, I suggest every one of you research the Thomas Deegan and the West Virginia. And look into that. And see where were these people? Why weren't they over there defending Thomas Deegan? He's the one that needed to defend and he was using the courts. These men in Burns, Oregon have already exhausted their limits of the court. Yes, they have a double jeopardy thing, but they were on probation for the entire time and maybe they screwed up and they said, hey, you screwed up, we're sending you back. You guys don't know all the shit that's going on over there. But in reality, what Thomas Deegan was doing, you guys just keep all talking about this fucking burn shit and this, all these idiots who Pete Centelli and uh, Blaine Cooper and who cares dude what's going to happen is going to happen now because the ball's already rolling just be prepared for whatever might be going on it's just I don't see why the shit didn't get taken care of back east where it needs to be taken care of I don't know what's going to go on and neither do any of you and in fact there ain't one of you that know the minds of any of them people. They might have a good intent in their heads. If they're tired of the bullshit too, just like every one of you are. And me, I'm tired of it. We're all fucking tired of it. 
but nobody's doing a goddamn thing about it. And finally, when someone starts doing something about it, y'all fucking belittle them. Well, why are y'all sitting on your ass and none of you motherfuckers are doing anything? Same as me, I ain't doing anything. Them men are doing something. Regardless if it's uh, paid opposition and they're igniting a fight over here or what. Something's going on, people. And y'all better be waking the fuck up. Because I've been telling you, it's not going to get pretty. What do you think is going to happen when they push the fucking button and the electricity goes off? What do you think? When there's no electricity, there's no water. When there's no water, there's no sanitation. It's going to get ugly, folks. Shut off the welfare and all these millions of people be without food all of a sudden. It's going to get real ugly. Y'all don't see the fucking whole scope. You're all hoping some mythical creature Jesus Christ is going to come down out of the clouds and save your ass. You better fucking rethink. It's all a fucking mind controlled joke and you guys have all played part and fell for it. I don't care if you like me or not. If you unsub me, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm just telling you the way it is and the way I'm seeing it. And all you motherfuckers are just sitting there yakking, yakking, yakking about Burns, Oregon. Why didn't one of you motherfuckers say shit? Back in September when Thomas Deegan was being prosecuted by the state of West Virginia. They arrested him and he exhausted every legal faction he could. And all you motherfuckers sat there on your ass and did nothing. You're a bunch of chicken shits. You want to run your mouth about everybody that's fucking doing anything. But you're not doing a goddamn thing yourself but running your fucking mouth. Why don't you shut the fuck up and go do it? I already told you. I'm close enough. I'll be there if something happens, but I won't be there falling into the fucking ploy of what they got going on. I'm going to go there and I'm going to defend liberty and freedom the way I see fit. I'm going to do it from a distance. Like I've told you guys a thousand times, my father told me, I have two of these and two of these and one of these. You better be looking and hearing four times as much as you run your goddamn mouth. That's all you people are doing is running your fucking mouth. Sorry. That's my take on what's going on. And it's going to get bad. I have a feeling. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Anyway, I just thought I'd get this out because what went on in West Virginia was silented. Now, I don't know if you guys even know anything about Thomas Deegan and the West Virginia incident. Maybe you should look it up. Maybe you should get a hold of the militias. Maybe we should be uh, going through all the court cases of all these uh, victimless crimes that have been legislated into existence. And we've got all these people locked up for legislated bullshit crimes. You know... I keep calling them victimless crimes, folks, but they're not actually victimless. The person being criminally charged has become a victim to the state. And by your failure to understand how the courts work, and failure to do your duty and research why they work and how they work, then it's your own goddamn fault that this country's fucked up. You know... We have a chance to turn things around without violence. We still have that chance. But if it doesn't happen now, violence will be the only result. Now I don't know about you, but I'm pro-life. And I do what I can to survive. And it's not really in me to go and get shot full of holes trying to defend liberty and freedom. But if that's what I got to do, God damn it, that's what I'm going to do. But if you guys will all get your shit together and start getting everybody on board with the fucking courts. Take everything to court. Take it to the jury. A jury trial. A jury of your peers. We are the jury people. We are the ones 
convicting our own fucking brothers and sisters of these victimless crimes, turning them into a victim of the state. What in the hell is the matter with y'all? I don't get it. Last count I seen, there was over 1,200 Americans assassinated by policy enforcement officers this year. Hmm. Not very many of them were prosecuted. Why? Because you, we the people, are not taking care of business the way business is meant to be taken care of. They're all a bunch of apathetic fucking idiots. Let Joe do it. He'll do it. No, because Joe's letting you do it. The time's almost here. When, if this goes live over here, and there's real fighting going on, are you still going to be hiding behind your fucking keyboard pretending you're Superman? That's all I got to say, people. I'm going to do another video today, but I'm going to be telling you on this other one a little bit about how the legal system got corrupted by the corporation and how we were all dumbed down to fall into it. Anyway, just think about what I'm, I told you here because I'm really thinking that the only reason this happened in Burns, Oregon is to get the shit away from D.C. because there was a perfect time while Thomas Deegan was battling the state of West Virginia through the courts that the militia and the people of the United States should have united behind him at that point in time and this down here would not be going on right now I guarantee it because the shit would be over there and we would be getting things straightened out by now they would say hey yeah these people are tired of the shit anyway you guys Y'all know, man, I'm, I'm a promoter of liberty and property, freedom, and the rights of man. And your rights are only limited as my rights are limited. And that our rights are limited by the rights of other human beings. It ain't by the rights of the corporations. The corporations have no rights unless we issue them their rights. You guys are all fucked up and twisted around. You think the corporation has rights and they issue you privileges. Anyway, that's going to be in my next video. You guys should tune in because you're going to be fucking learning what happened to the country and how our legal system was taken over. I've done my research, I've done my studies, and I know what's wrong in the legal system. But I just have to get this Burns, Oregon, Cooper, Santelli, all this shit, man. You're starting it or you're ending it. You're either starting the beginning or you're ending the beginning. Whichever way, it's going to spiral from here, folks, one way or another. These incidences are going to increase now. It's just like these false flags. They, they just overwhelm us with the false flags. We, all, we, we know what's going on in the world today, people. They're trying to keep us confused, divided, so that we are easily conquered. And we're going to be conquered unless we unite in the courtroom. That's our forum of equal ground to these people. You can't stand against their military might. Get real. There ain't one of you that's got an F-16. There ain't one of you that probably got a hand grenade. Half of you probably ain't got fucking a hunting rifle. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care what property you have. That's your property. And you deserve to have it. And see, that's why you guys all fall prey to their gun laws. Because you guys all think you have guns. No, you have property. You have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What is liberty? Liberty is the right to own your own property. Your freedom and your will all fall under the liberty. 
Anyway, see that? No green screen. This is me. And I'm telling you, I'm not afraid. Like I said, the Bible is a fear tool. Get over it. Read your history. Read books that were published in the 1800s and the 1700s. Written by the people who were living in the times. And you will find the truth of what was going on. You can't fall into this indoctrination from the books that are written today and expect to know what happened in history. You're foolish to think so. And that has erased history more than once. Anyway, dumb movie, dumb video, I'm done. Cut!